Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity for July of 2021. My goal with these videos is to highlight what can be done with the engine so you know the only limit is really just your own imagination. All of these games are uniquely impressive, and they showcase the power of the engine in tons of different scenarios, so the list is in no particular order, except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. There's links in the description for some of the games, those are affiliate links, so if you use them it's the same price to you and you'll also be supporting the channel. Alright, so starting off at number 10 with Death's Door. This one is getting a lot of attention lately, I already mentioned it in the E3 2021 video since it looks so great. The visuals are all very nice and clean, and the gameplay feels very snappy and responsive. Reviews are already very positive with over 2500 of them. It's an isometric action RPG. You go out to various worlds to reap the souls of the dead, tons of upgrades to unlock and worlds to explore. It's also very charming, it's all about crows and they have some really nice Pixar-like animations. So if you're a fan of these types of action-adventure games, then you definitely need to give this one a try. Then for something very visually striking, Boomerang X. It's a fast-paced first-person arena shooter. The core mechanic is once you throw your boomerang, you can slingshot directly to it. So you use it simultaneously for combat as well as for movement. It's very stylish and feels like it's great to play once you get familiar with the mechanic and you can pull off some very impressive moves. And the visuals themselves are just great to look at. Very unique, reminds me of Samurai Jack for some reason. Up next, something from a huge franchise, Warhammer 40k Battle Sector. This is a pretty big franchise, you could definitely call this a double-A game, and it's great to see it made with Unity. It's a turn-based strategy game set in the 4k universe. I must say that's a universe that I'm not very familiar with, but I always love the units. Space Marines always look great, awesome mechs and monsters. There's quite a lot of Unity variety in this one. You play through 20 epic missions in the single player campaign, or get into skirmish mode, choose your map, choose your faction, either the Blood Angels or the Tyranids, and make some unique rules by picking your units, heroes and their loadouts. Looking at this one makes me want to do a turn-based video. I did do a turn-based combat system quite a while ago, so I'd love to try doing that again, but now in 3D. Who knows, maybe soon. Going from something dark and gritty to something nice and jolly, here is Mini Motorways. You can probably tell at a glance that this is a sequel to Mini Metro. This time you're managing roadways with cars going from A to B. So just like Mini Metro, it starts off very simple. You just have one car going to one place, then you just click to place down some roads and watch the car go from A to B. Then over time, more and more cars show up with more different colors and everything becomes quite tricky. The controls are extremely intuitive. You just click and drag. The interface is super clean and extremely easy to understand. The special abilities in this one are roundabouts, highways and bridges. So this game and Mini Metro are excellent examples of very well made minimalist games, so if that's the genre you're interested in, you should definitely study both of these. And this game runs on a grid, so who knows, I might do a video taking my grid system and making a prototype sort of like this one. By the way, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button, it's a tiny thing but it really does help, thanks. For something stunningly stylish, here is Eastern Exorcist. Really gorgeous looking game, it's a side-scroller action RPG set in a fantasy world. Tons of really cool moves and many unique monsters to fight. It's really a joy to look at and based on the reviews it also feels great to play. Lots of really awesome particle effects, slash effects and tons of animations. It just came out of early access so this is always the best time to join the game since it should be a very complete and very stable. There's already over 4000 very positive reviews. If you want to learn how to make a very stylish action game, then I would say you should study this game. Next up for some VR, here is Sniper Elite VR. This feels like the perfect series to go in virtual reality. Really aim with your own hands and try to land the perfect headshots. Combined with some stealthy missions where you must move unseen and use a silenced pistol. And just seeing the famous bullet x-ray effect in VR sounds like great fun. If you've ever played a Sniper Elite game, then you can already imagine what this one is like. This is also another great example of a pretty big studio going with Unity for their VR games instead of trying to add it from scratch onto their own custom engine. If you want to be an artist, then check out Such Art Genius Artist Simulator. It looks very wacky, like the kind of thing that is really just one joke, but actually it already has over 500 overwhelmingly positive reviews, so there's definitely a proper game behind the wacky concept. It's all about drawing everywhere, and it really means everywhere, so you can draw on your paintings, but also on the walls, floor, ceilings, and anywhere you want. Make your studio really your own, and when all the walls are painted, just buy another room and paint it all over again. You can also make some money by selling your paintings in the marketplace or fulfilling client orders, set up an art exhibit and see what the critics think. It features some realistic painting mechanics, 
So of the colors mix just like you expect them to, the paint has a realistic texture and you have all kinds of instruments to use, everything from brushes, palette knives, stencils or even flamethrowers. Up next, another one that just came out of early access, Clone Drone in the Danger Zone. This is a robot voxel slice em up, I have to say with that genre I'm already interested. Play as a robot gladiator and slice and dice your way to victory. Since the whole thing is based on voxels, it features some very good destruction mechanics, really accurate slicing. Voxels is actually one topic that I haven't researched yet, but I'd love to. There's tons and tons of things you can do with them. You play around with a multitude of weapons, play through the story mode in an epic tale of human defiance, or check out the multiplayer and challenge your friends to a 1v1 duo or play together in co-op. It's got over 10,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews, so if the concept interests you, definitely give it a try. And actually, for another VR game, here is Furious Seas. Now, normally I only cover one VR game per month in this list, but there were quite a lot of interesting ones this month. This one is all about being a pirate on the open seas. You've got plenty of actions you can take. You can steer the ship, man the cannons, and give orders to your crew, face off against other pirates in the single-player campaign, or try to last as long as possible in survival mode. Visually, it looks pretty great. Some really nice water and some really nice particle effects. I do wonder, since this game is on a boat, if it causes actual nausea or if it's pretty easy to play. According to the description, they mentioned they did work very hard on trying to eliminate this issue, so I wonder if they were successful. Anyway, if you truly want to feel like a pirate, then this is the perfect game for you. And finally, at number one, for my personal pick of the month, here is Dream Engine's Nomad Cities. It's a factory automation building game with survival elements. So you land in a new world, gather a bunch of resources and build up your city. As you gather more and more resources, you get attacked by more and more powerful enemies until you decide to take off. So I especially like the concept of risk-reward built directly into the design. Do you decide to stay for a tiny bit longer to try to gather more resources and risk complete destruction? Or do you leave as soon as you have enough in order to keep it safe? That seems like a really fun twist on the usual automation genre and I think it works perfectly to add those survival elements. It just came out in early access, so I'll probably check this one out in one year after the full release. Alright, so that's 10 awesome new games made with Unity and launched in July of 2021. If you want to be a successful indie game developer, you definitely need to keep an eye on the current state of your competition. I make these videos once a month so I can keep up to date with what's coming out and you should too. There's links in the description for some of the games. Those are film links, so if you use them, it's the same price to you and you'll also be supporting the channel. Check out the film playlist to see some more awesome games made with Unity. Do you have any other hidden gems you found this month? Let me know in the comments. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.